You read the title correctly. Yesterday, I was just jumping around in Souls RNG, having a great time when I started to think about the rubble inside of the caves. You see, in the past, you were able to use the arcane teleport to go through here, but since then, it's been patched. But as I kept trying to get through, I saw something shiny on the floor. Is this part of the map coming out in Era 7? I simply had to get in there, so I was determined. And after a while of trying, boom, look where I am and look at what I've discovered. But before I show you how to get here or what this means, Means. Let me first just say thank you guys for subscribing like crazy recently. The badger luck is genuinely working and everyone who subscribed has been getting amazing auras. Once we reach 120,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away another 10,000 Robux to one of you. So for maximum luck in Souls RNG and 10,000 Robux, just make sure you're a subscriber. And we're in! Okay, so obviously today we're going to be exploring the hidden cave of Era 7. But before we get there, first of all, I actually want to go to a public server because obviously we don't want to be rolling link alone. So let's start by going to a public server and I'll see you guys there. Okay, and it looks like we have joined in and there is a giant sailor here. Hello, Mr. Sailor celebrating what year? 2024. Very nice. Very nice. He's got fireworks above his head. So here we have a couple of unbounds, a sailor. There is a Kyoth white dog. Hi, little doge. And we do have some other people who are just AFK running around. Did I get spotted? Why is this guy following me? All right, so let's start by rolling and going to collect the obby star. Now, obviously, I will go ahead and show you guys the secret cave, but for First, I want to increase my luck as much as possible because this is Souls RNG after all. We're always trying to roll for something good. Okay, and I've got the Obby Star. And now let's spam some potions on just so we increase our luck even more. How many potions am I up to? Ooh, I have quite a lot. You know what? I feel like I'm going to record this video for a while. So let's do 84 lucky potions, which is 84 minutes. And if we want to do the same for speed, what's 84 times 2? 168. I hope that's correct. <laughs> all right, let's go inside of the caves. I'm going to show you guys what you should be looking out for for the entrance to Era 7. So if we go inside of Stella's cave, actually, I'm going to show you from the other point of view just for some people who don't have the Stella entrance. So let's go the normal way, which is this way. Of course, you want to go up the ladder and towards the waterfall. And once we go through here, we're now over at this end. And the part that I was talking about is actually through here. So if we run up towards the rubble, you can see this bit's blocked off and there's no way to get in there. You used to be able to arcane teleport through, but I found a secret cool new way. So let me quickly show it to you guys. If you go shift lock and zoom out, can you see it now? You see that area on the floor? That's where we're going to be able to get into. And I assume this bit will get open for era seven. And this is where you all start to wonder, Bacha, how do you get in there? Well, we'll get around to that. Do not worry. First, I quickly want to show you why that area is going to be important because there are two other areas inside the caves which are also open at the moment. So these came in era 6 and one of them is inside of this massive waterfall here. So if we go inside, I do have a little following guy here. I have a companion. Hello, sir. If we go inside and go towards the fire. Now here, obviously, there are no scribbles or writing on the walls or the floor, but this is a secret little area which is made for the devs. These are all of the developers from era 6. But unfortunately, there isn't anything here indicating what's going to be coming in era seven. Now I'm going to keep rolling. Hopefully we get something good during this video. The other part is obviously towards the altar. Let me quickly show you that part because it's important before I show you the little cave that we're going to go inside of. So if I head on over towards the altar, you can see in here, there's an inscription on the wall, this drawing right here. Now this is very similar to the one I'm about to show you. So pay attention. Take a screenshot of this in your mind because it's going to be very important. And do you see how it's shining blue little squares? Well, the part that I'm going to show you is that, but era seven version. And down here, there is another scribble on the floor, but this has nothing to do with Era 7. It's just the scribble where you're supposed to do the Era 6 aura chant with the Unbound. Okay, so let's head back outside. Enough yapping. It's finally time to show you guys what's inside of the mini cave. And at the end, I will show you how to get there for yourself as well. Okay, so we're back at the rubble area, but we are now actually on the other side. Don't worry, I will show you how to get here. Inside of here, there is this little scribble on the floor. Now, let me put them up side by side of the other ones you've just seen. You see how they're different? You see how this one over here looks much different than the others? I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that's going to be coming in Era 7. Also, there are purple little squares that come up from it. So, it is very different from the blue one at the altar. I would love to give you guys more context on what this area is going to be, but for now, I genuinely don't know, so I don't want to lie to you. I'm just going to give you my opinions on what this could be. So, obviously, this rubble 
part is what leads to the main part of the cave. But if I had to guess, I would say they might open up this part as well. And then there is a secret little tunnel down there as well. I'll show you where the tunnel leads to in just a second. I think this bit could be a cool new place where you might be able to accept a quest. Or it might be like another version of Stella. Like maybe someone will be stood in here, not with a cauldron, but maybe with their own quest line. That would be very cool. Or like I said, of course, they might expand this cave much, much further. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Everyone in the chat is asking where am I? Let's see if they can find me. Can they come through here? Let me look through. I'm asking them to come to the cave entrance. I want to see if they can see me through the rubble. Come on, guys. Come in here. Oh, there they are. I can see them. I can see them right there. Look, he's using a Abyssal Hunter. Wait, let me put my Abyssal Hunter on so it's easier for him to see me. There we go. Will he be able to see this? <laughs> there he is. Okay, we have found each other. So there's an arcane legacy there. He said, are you outside? Should I let them know this part of the map might be opening in era 7? This part's coming out in era 7. Come to me. Come to me, guys. Bacha has something got Matrix and the Arcane Dark. Yes, let's go, Galaxy. The Bacha look is definitely working. Every day, people tell me this something got something amazing. They said, are you outside the map? Not really. This is still part of the map. You can definitely get here. I mean, why else would they put this on the floor? I think this was meant to act as like a little Easter egg towards era 7. But of course, me being a turtle nerd, I found out how to get in here. He said, what? What the flip? How? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, look at them down there. He said, let me in. Before we move on, I do want to tell you guys something a little bit disappointing though. This part might have just been an addition to era 6 that was never opened. Now, personally, I do believe this is going to be opened in era 7, but I don't want to lie to you once again. This could have been added in as like maybe one of the places where they were going to place eggs for era 6. If you remember, there were 15 eggs placed around this map and maybe initially they were going to open the rubble area. I'm like 99% certain this part wasn't here in the era 6 update, but I definitely don't know for sure. So be aware of that. I do speculate this part of era 7, but we're going to have to wait and see. And look at everyone in the chat. An exotic, a twilight. Bacha, look. <laughs> Let's go, twilight. I'm trying to get everyone in here. I'm saying there's a new part coming to era 7. Come see. You can see the exotic apex up there. <laughs> All right, peep it through. There are a few people out there now. There's three people there. <laughs> look at them. That's so funny. He said, I see your face poking out, lol. I can see them poking out as well. <laughs> One guy said, I see through the wall. There's a weird symbol on the floor. Yeah, I think the symbol is era 7 symbol. I'm pretty sure I've not seen this anywhere in the era 6 advertisement. Is there an entrance in caves to get there? Oh! I just got smited by an impeached sword. Look at that. <laughs> Why is everyone trying to kill me? Dude, look at everyone through there now. It's like I'm playing COD zombies and I've just barricaded myself in. <laughs> that looks crazy. I'm legit so confused how. I will show you at the end of the video, guys. Just stick around. I'll show you all how to get here. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is I want to see if this spot will give me any luck. So let's stand here for like five or ten minutes quickly and let's see if we get a new luck spot. Maybe if I stand right on top of the symbol like this. That looks good to me. All right, let's see if our luck gets in increased at all. If it does, I've got a brand new look spot. <gasps> no way! No way! I've been stood here for literally 10 seconds after I said that. Did I just get twilight? I got a lunar full moon. Dude, it's been 10 seconds. I said I was going to stand here for 5 to 10 minutes. What? Okay, new look spot confirmed. I have found a new look spot. That's crazy. Oh, and somebody just got gravitational as well. Let's go, Steven. The look is real. Batch of luck. <laughs> I'm doing even extra luck now stood here. Guys, spam in Batch of We Trust in the comments if you want the extra 300% Batch of Luck. I promise you it works. Bacha, should I use one of my 11 heavenly twos? Yes, you should. Yes, you absolutely should. I would love to see a heavenly two potion in this video. Oh, yo, whoa. Somebody's just pulled a galaxy as well. One in 500,000. Dude, what is going on in the server? <laughs> it's the Bacha look, honestly. Every time I go to servers nowadays, everyone just goes crazy. What is going on? <laughs> Dude, look at this. I'm literally playing Call of Duty Zombies. Look at these guys. There's just an absolute swarm on the other side of the barricade. <laughs> Wait, is that Titan Speaker Man? Dude, there's an upgraded Titan Speaker Man on the other side. What game am I playing? <laughs> this part is epic. Look at all the auras through there. That's so funny. Oh, no way. Somebody's just got a lunar full moon as well. Okay. Everyone's going absolutely insane. By the way, guys, this morning, I got another Hyper Vault. If I open up the collection, look at this. I got another Hyper Vault. And look at all of the Celestials I've got. I'm getting ready for Era 7. It's happening. Okay, I've actually found a way to show you everybody else on the other side. Look at this. <laughs> There's an absolute swarm of players on the other side trying to break through the barricade. That's so funny. Oh, yo, there's a blossom over here. Nice. Wait, how many people is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like seven or eight different players trying to get through. <laughs> and then there's just one little bacho on the other side. You know what? I'm going to set these guys a challenge. First one to get through here gets 10,000 Robux. I'll actually do it because it's so hard to do it. All right, here we go. First 
first one through here gets 10k Robux. Let's do it. What? Okay. All right. Let's see it. Let me give them a time frame though. Let's say first one through in the next 10 minutes. Okay. So I'll stand here for 10 minutes. If they get through, they get 10,000 Robux. That's nice and easy. And whilst they're doing that, I'm going to keep rolling on top of the symbol. Let's see if our luck keeps increasing. Okay. And it has now been 10 minutes. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything crazier other than the lunar full moon. Now, look at this though. If I go up here again, I'll uh, just show you guys the other side. <laughs> Look at the absolute swarm of zombies out here trying to come through. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Bless them. All right, let's quickly head outside and say hello to everybody. And then I'm going to show you guys how to get in here for yourself. Unfortunately for them, time is up. Nobody got in here, so no 10k Robux for anyone. I cannot be in here all day. I'm coming out. Let's go reset character. All right, here we are. We're outside. Okay, we've said hello to all the fans. So now it's time to head out and let's go to the caves. Wait, wait a second. King Monkey just said, Bacha got to the place where you were, but you're not there. I said, did you? Stay there, let me see. He said, yes. Wait, let me see. Oh, he actually did get in there. Ah, uh, that's actually insane. He honestly figured it out. That's pretty cool. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Look at him on the other side. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I've loaded into my private server. I'm going to wait for the other guy to join and let's see how he got in there because I'm actually curious to see the method that he used. Okay, King is in here. Come on, bro. Show me how you did it. He said, I'm shaking so much. Oh, bless him. Okay, show me how you did it. I'll put you in today's video. Let's see. Okay, so he's obviously going to the portal. So he's come through the portal. And he's going up there. Yes. <laughs> okay. He's figured it out. He's actually figured it out. Let's go. And there he is. Look, he's inside of the new little altar area. Epic. All right. Let me show you guys how I did it first. And then let me show you a different method of coming in here. And why it's going to be important. Well, because this part of the map is probably going to be open in era seven. So as I'm sure you saw there, the way into that part of the map is not actually through this rubble area here. You can no longer teleport through here. They're fully, fully patched up by putting in loads and loads of rocks. So the way it around that is if you come to this bridge, there's a little hole right up here and you can go through there. Now, the way that I did this initially is by using the arcane glitch to teleport over there. So you see how there's a hole? Let me show you how I did the arcane glitch. So I'd pull up the arcane and then I would jump and use multiple TPs to get through there. So let me show you that way first. So you do it like this, you jump. Okay, and that's it. You see how I teleported through the hole? So if I just zoom out to make it easier, there we go. So you can jump from back there and teleport through this hole. Now, that's the way that I did it initially, but then I ended up finding out you can actually just jump up here and climb up into the hole. So the reason that I knew that this hole existed is because I did the arcane teleport glitch through the rubble in era five, but they patched it since. But I knew this hole was here. So let me first show you what the hole looks like. So if you run through, it's like a little cave like this. You follow it all the way around and then you can jump up and come to this altar area right here. And it's honestly, as simple as that. That's all they have to do. So you can run back through this cave and that's it. You come out to the little hole. So I always knew this existed, but I couldn't really figure out how to get in here until I learned how to do the arcane glitch and then it kind of all clicked. But you don't even need the arcane glitch. So if I just show you guys, even with the bridge missing, as long as you line it up right, you can just jump grab it. You see how I can just grab it here? That's it. You just climb up and then run through the hole. And once you come out the other side, you end up at the altar area. If you learned something new and enjoyed my little glitches that I'm using here, please make sure to subscribe. It helps me a lot and it helps you guys with the extra 300% look. For more videos like this one and other Solzaran G videos, just make sure you subscribed.